The New Deal. The Great Society. The Square Deal. The Fair Deal. The Obama Deal. They not only solve nothing, they are destructive of this society. And it is time once and for all that we make clear that the paradigm of statism, the model of an aggressive, active, boundless federal government, is unacceptable. It's the problem. It is a historic irony, maybe a contradiction, that the same president who busted the federal treasury with the biggest spending bid in world history in a period of 20 months tried to cover himself by creating a commission to make recommendations about addressing unsustainable spending. Now the problem with this report, which I discussed at length yesterday, is that it does not cut fundamentally government entitlements. And the biggest one of them all, Obamacare. I said it yesterday and I'm repeating it today. Obamacare sets in place a massive spending obligation that will swallow up our economy. I also said yesterday it does not really address Social Security because it calls for tax increases, the revenue from which will go into the general fund. It has nothing to do with funding Social Security. Same with Medicare. So I also said, because Obama's stimulus spending and other spending increased the federal budget in two years' time by 24%, a figure presented by Paul Ryan, every future budget will be built on top of that baseline. The only way to get this under control is to completely reverse what Obama has done on every single front. This report, of course, doesn't do that. That commission is loaded with Obama friendlies. I've heard people say it's a good start. We have to have shared sacrifice. This is very odd to me. Particularly this phrase, shared sacrifice. When government bureaucrats are earning double what individuals in the private sector earn. What shared sacrifice? When government employment is growing in private sector Employment is shrinking. What shared sacrifice? What are you talking about? No, it's time for the government to sacrifice, period. This is a nation built on the will of the people. It is a republic. We have a constitution. It's not about shared sacrifice. It's about the rule of law. It's about individual liberty. It's about private property rights. It's about federalism. It's about all kinds of things, but not shared sacrifice. It's about the government behaving in a confined constitutional manner. And if we buy into these arguments that you're hearing, we will be doing nothing but tweaking, tweaking the status of society that they've created. Now, we just want one of the most massive election landslides in American history. Is that what we're going to do? Tweak the New Deal? Tweak the Great Society? Tweak Obamacare? Let me make some suggestions. I have more, but let me highlight some, which I've made before and which are in liberty and tyranny. Number one. And first of all, let me underscore the point. If we're going to fight for things, let's fight for big things that will have serious and positive consequences. Let's not fight over the crumbs. The Internal Revenue Code and the progressive income tax must be eliminated. And it is worth fighting for. It's worth every ounce of political blood because it will change the society for the better. The progressive income tax was strongly promoted in the Communist Manifesto. Read it. I've quoted it. It needs to be replaced with either a flat tax or the fair tax. 
So we do need to focus our energies on these hard but fundamental aspects of what need to be done. Number two, as is also in the book, sunset all so-called independent federal agencies. So they must be renewed every single year by a positive, that is an affirmative vote, of Congress reestablishing them. Here's another hard one. Eliminate federal government unions, which were created under JFK. Eliminate them. The civil service system remains, but we are funding our own demise. The unsustainability of pensions and health care plans and armies of precinct workers who we're paying. Why are we doing this? Because the liberals want to do it? It's a hard fight, but it needs to be done. It at least needs to begin. It needs to begin. We must lay the political ground groundwork for this. And as I said in the book, reduce the federal workforce by 20% or more. Period. All steps must be taken to destroy Obamacare. I hear repeal and replace. I say destroy it. It is a fascist monster that tramples the Constitution, individual rights, property rights, and the basic right to life and health decisions, which each of us get to make for ourselves and our family. It obstructs those decisions to our detriment. Government control over health care is government control over your physical being and your mental being. Now, this is the single most important objective of the status since Plato's Republic to create a health care system which is controlled by the government. Since Plato's Republic. Number four, all political and advocacy groups, I don't care how they dress themselves up as poverty groups, as reproductive groups, as environmental groups, all of these groups that receive any taxpayer funding must be defunded. We must defund our enemies who are using our resources and our government against us. This won't be in the commission report. Screw the report. The environment has become the new front for waging war against the individual. So-called environmental groups are nothing more than anti-capitalist, anti-growth, 1960s flat-earth Marxist operations, funded in part by the United States government, you and me. These groups have been granted by statute, by statute, the power to bring lawsuits on behalf of the American people. They are shutting down projects all over the country, obstructing towns and cities all over the country. Take our rights back. Deny them access to the courts unless they have standing like everyone else. I've got a little more when we come back. Mark Lovin'. 